Ah, I have no idea if I'm in the frame. My friends from Canada, Darcy, and uh, also Kevin, sent me a box. And I don't know what's in it. However, it does say uh, three resin art pieces. So, yeah, it's heavy. This box weighs, uh, mm, what does it weigh? 8.08 .08 kilograms, so about 8 kilograms. My name's Russ, rwgresearch.com. This is an unboxing. Let's see what's in here. I'm very curious. So, a while back, I sent Darcy a QSM, and uh, he's loving it. So, uh, Send me something back. Here's my wifey. Come, help me. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she says. Here, take this chair. Sit right here. You're eating again because she eats a lot when she doesn't have kids awake. That's why she says eating. Here, come sit. Probably out of the frame anyway. I don't know. Okay. It says... Russ. I was waiting to make you one, one of team. these. One team. I was one team. Good thing my wife is here. I was wanting to make you one of these, then Kevin mentioned the QSN idea, and they were born. A gift from Kevin and I. One love. Clue. Three, what's that saying? Three main. Three main ingredients. Shugnite. Shugnite. Con sand. Conductive carbon. Quartz sand and epoxy resin. So a type of conductive carbon, quartz sand and epoxy resin. Bunch of scratches on them, but that's how they come out for now. Silicon molds of the type are not created yet, but in the works from from my friend at Fi Molds. Peace. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> I don't even know how you look working. I got good packing material. I'll use that. There's got to be some more. There is some more on the other side. <laughs> These are really handy. Thanks for that. I'll throw this out. Oh. Two, eight. That's 8.2 kilograms. No, I think it's all of it. Oh, this should be quite interesting. I wonder if it has something to do with the QSN. QSN again. I sent them a QSN. You know my little QSN sculpture that I printed that's really difficult? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that thing I worked months and months and months and months on in my closet where you weren't looking? Yeah, I didn't hear it. Okay. That's a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool boxes. The kids will like this. <laughs> Send two more, please. <laughs> One for each kid. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's a QS in it there. I'm surprised that didn't melt. That is cool. Wow. They pulled the top off. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to print some more QSNs. I haven't printed any in a very long time. Awesome. These are awesome. That's interesting how that one cracked. It's like, did you glue it together? It's like <laughs> two pieces. <laughs> Alright, so it's conductive. Clue three. <laughs> three main three main clue. Three main ingredients. Shug tight, that's a conductive carbon. And then quartz sand. No, not shug tight, shung tight. Shung that I can't read, come on. This is why she's here. Well, my knife used to be sharp. What happened to it? 
Unless it's not connected. I must have used it. Let me flip this knife over. Look at that! Mm. <laughs> that is so cool. Very, very cool. Like that that takes my QSN idea art piece thing into like a whole new realm of amazingness. There we go. Oh, there's a quartz in there. And that one I bet that one's not supposed to be broke. I bet this one broke in shipping. I bet it was supposed to be just like that so you could see the crystal in there. It's okay. A little super glue goes a long way. No one needs to know. I'm gonna remove the, the little debris though. It's fine, you'll be fine. It's just crystals in your chips, you'll be fine. No, don't play nothing. Yeah, there's a, I can see there's a, it looks like a piece of quartz or something. Supposed to be holding these two together. That's very cool. Very artsy. Yeah, these are fantastic. So I sent them a QSN a while back. Kevin and Darcy, my good friends. Most of you don't know, but um, Kevin takes care of the Facebook page. I don't Facebook, and so he took care of that for me. So thank you. And Darcy's his twin brother, who's been just awesome. Both of them are just awesome people, and uh, love them very much. Look at that. <laughs> you know, the little scratches can be polished, I think. Forever the QSN is embedded in there. <laughs> what? Yeah, these are awesome. They look like a stone, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're made of materials, stony-like. This is one's kind of cool, you can take it off. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. See how the sand is? Mm -hmm. All right, enough about me looking at these. Let me show you guys a little bit closer. Sorry about the bad quality audio. You get what you get uh, for this one. We don't do unboxings very much around here. Look at that. How cool is that? Now I need to drill a hole in the middle and put me a light right in the bottom of that thing. I think about that. So these are really cool. So they're made out of a uh, conductive carbon. I'll have to look that up. Right there. And then this one, this one's pretty solid. There's a there's a little like little hole in there which is kinda cool. It's kinda like looking in one of those rocks that you cut, you know. Mm -hmm. It's got the things inside of what are those called? Wow, these are nice. These are really cool. So my guess is that they're gonna be making these if people want them, because he says he doesn't have a proper mold for them yet, but in the future they're gonna get one, I guess. So, uh, yeah, if you want something like this, uh, let me know and I'll get you in touch with the right people. I don't know. I have no idea at this moment. I, they, they were going to send me something and they said, I'm going to send you something and they sent me something. How cool is that? I can see the, I can see the smiles on their faces right now watching me smile at this awesome piece of artwork. Now, where are we going to put these? I, I got, have no idea. This one I'm definitely going to leave out somewhere where I can see it all the time. Because my Q, I have a few pieces of things sitting around here randomly on my little shelf over there, but this one... It's a little big. It, it, won't, <laughs> it won't quite fit on my shelf of things, you know? So I'm going to have to put it somewhere else, but look at that. Very cool. That is really awesome. It's a good weapon. It's a good weapon. It's a good weapon, she says. <laughs> What kind of chips are you eating? Uh, ruffles. Ruffles! We need salt. We need salt. Anyway, I have no, I was not even going to film this and I thought, no, I should film this. No, I'm glad I did. This is awesome. I really cool. And I have three metallic conductive carbon resin 
sand. Corpse sand, even. Put in my facilitai. See how it's kind of clear? You can see the sand and the resin? Mm -hmm. These are awesome. Thank you very much. They were not cheap to ship. They weigh a lot. How much do you think they oh weigh? Oh my goodness, I, didn't even, I bet it was close to saying five dollars. Well, it was ship. it was over eight kilograms. I don't know what that is in pounds. I'm American and poundage. No, Ooh, kilograms. Very fancy, fancy pants. I wonder if you can figure out the best solution for removing air bubbles when you put stuff in these like this. They usually do like a vacuum mold, uh, vacuum pressure mold, but. These, these are the first first uh, couple of prototypish stuff I'm sure that you guys made. Uh, they could talk to that epoxy YouTuber guy. They epoxies everything. Yeah. Re resin. Resin. Anyway. Whatever. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. Technicalities. To me. Same thing. It's All right. Clear and Thanks for watching. Solid. You know, the more I look at these. The more I think I have a really good idea. I gotta find some parts. There, now I got all the pieces I need to start this thing. this by hand. First things first, I'm gonna try to use this chopper bit to get through this. I think it'll be fine. This is a uh, 13 16 not very sharp on the end. Matter of fact, I should probably sharpen that real quick. And then we're gonna try to drill it by hand. Just kind of see what happens. Got my safety glasses on. Safety first, boys and girls. Oh boy, let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can even get close to drilling this. No less drilling it straight. It's just rounding off. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's keep going. Alright, <clears throat> I got some old drill bits here. I'm just going to see if I can get down into there. And then I'll have a pilot hole for my other little bit here. I can 
see light. I can see light. So we're going to put epoxy on the light and make sure it's exactly everything we wanted it to be. Now, we're going to put that light inside of here. And the battery. So let's test fit this. Let's just put this in there and then we'll put the battery in there to make sure it's all going to fit. We gotta find our little circuit board. What do you think I did with it? I found it, Elijah. There it is. This is a battery charge controller. We gotta figure out the best way that this fits. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, Elijah, now we need to do the battery. I'm just gonna solder to the battery. Should be fine. Silly stuff. It's fine, it's not about looks. It's about functionality. See that? That's safety. Now I need to find the switch. Gonna need a smaller switch. First, I just wanna see if this thing works. LED positive out, negative out. There is Dexter. Connected, it should turn on. Ready to find out? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So what's gonna light up? I put the light inside there. Should we all have an open light? Close room bright? Oh, I just saw it! There it goes! Oh, I see it. Working? Yep. Cool that. Not 
That's a light up one. Now I want to plug this charger in and see if it charges. So cool. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm. Turns out nice. Let's see here. Plug this in. This is for the little charger. Ooh. See how it lit up? Mm hmm. That means it's charging. I think it'll go out when it stops charging or turns red when it stops charging. So that works. Mm -hmm. So now I can plug it in and charge it. So now we need to put it together with our switch. We need to find a switch. Mm -hmm. And a black cable. That's silly. Alright, let's take the battery back off. So cool. How you unchart it is you get... Now this we need to be very careful with because if the battery shorts out, it's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. We'll put that over there. So I need a tiny little bitty switch. Here's the one I found. I need one way smaller than that. So Alright, did we find one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. This is a little like dip switch. You pull it out. Pull it out to turn it on or off. What's it say? Doesn't really say which way is which, but I think we'll just put it in there. Is that heavy? Mm, yeah, it's pretty heavy. You want to feel it? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Wow. It's pretty heavy. Alright, so there we go. We've got a little charge controller tucked in the bottom battery in there. I'm gonna leave it exposed so I can get some air to it. And we can plug our, uh, our little USB charger right into it like this. And there's a light on the bottom that tells us when it's charged. And then, uh, yeah, then it's battery powered for however long. And turn the lights off. Oh. That's cool, right? You like that? <laughs> that's awesome. I'd say that's a success. What do you think, Dexter? I was going to use white, but white showed up too funny. You could tell that there was a light in there. But since everything is red in there already, the red works a lot better. Cool. Mm -hmm. Come stand by this. Dude. I'm not standing by me. Yeah, stand by you. Right there. You ready? You ready to see what I did? Huh? What? What? Are you ready to see it? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Now it's like a red. It's a completely red. Yeah. What do you think about that, Riley? That's pretty cool. I have to say that that fits uh, fits pretty well now. What type of light did you use? With the other two. Huh? I used an LED. How'd you fit that? It's like a night light! I think it's pretty cool. I think my friend Darcy did a really good job making that. Mm -hmm. I need the QS in and then, uh, yeah, now finish it with a little touch of light. <laughs> Say thanks, Darcy. Thank you, Darcy. And Kevin. And Kevin. All right, say bye. Bye. I think that looks superb. Sweet. Seriously, it's only holding up by the CSC in the middle. Nothing else. Crazy. I just want to touch it. I just want to touch it. Somebody touched it because it's not sitting on there. That's oh. how it was. I have to glue that together still. Yeah, it's attached. It is supposed to be. <laughs> but it broke during shipping. No!
Okay. Bye bye. Bye. A beautiful alt if any mind. Still not in focus. There he goes. That. That's a cool piece of art right there. Yeah. Wow. Remember what that used to look like. That's what that quartz sand did to that sucker. That's incredible. Basically, uh, it's sharp in one direction. So I just kept going left and then right, then left, then right. And it was sort of a self-sharpening drill bit. <laughs> Crazy. Thanks for watching. Solid. God bless you guys. Read the Bible more. Peace and love. Yes, last words. Going to bed. She says she's going to bed. Tired. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.